Kristen, your cousin, and I'm doing. And your hubby, too. How y'all living, fam? It's Wednesday up in this biatch. We made it through, at least got to hump day. But by the time you guys get this, you would have gotten through hump day. So I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Your girl's making something different. You guys know my menu's changed. I'm making some French toast. The first time I've ever made it, and we're making it with Ezekiel bread. And if you don't know what Ezekiel bread is, let me show you what it looks like. I got the cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread. It's a higher grain bread, very high grain, okay? And this is what the packaging looks like, all right? You can actually get it, I get it from the freezer section of my grocer, but you can get it in natural food stores and that kind of thing, but you can get it at your grocery store too. There's a plain version of that, and I've only seen two versions of Ezekiel bread. But anyway, my mixture is right over here, so if I like it, I will definitely do a video showcasing how to make it in a future video, hopefully maybe before I go to Florida, if not when I get back. Um, and uh, yeah, man. So, I am getting ready to make this food real quick. The Hubster is home still. Um, we, had to, we have some things we've got to get taken care of this morning before he goes into work. So, he's going into work a little later. So, he's somewhere in this house somewhere. And um, the little doggy dog is over here just hanging out. Hold on. You guys haven't seen him in a couple days. There he is, just hanging. He's usually up here with me, but um, his breathing hasn't been as bad. I, you can hear it a little bit, and it's like sporadic, but for the most part, it's actually been, you know, he doesn't wheeze as much. And for those of you guys who don't know, he has a collapsed trachea. No, it's not curable. Yes, he's been to the vet. I'm just answering the questions that I know normally people ask. Um, Anyway, it's gotten a lot better as far as how he sounds, but right now he's excited because he, you know, we, you know, he just got up and he's all excited to have, you know, people around him and stuff like that. So anyway, um, anyway, but yeah, a lot of times you have, you don't even realize he's right here with me because he's not making that wheezing sound. So, um, we're going to, we're just kind of monitoring it, seeing how it goes. My friends that I told you guys were coming are not coming this weekend, but my sister's coming in town. So I'm not even gonna lie to you, I am relieved that my friends aren't coming. You guys know the first thing that I thought when they called was, damn, how the fuck am I gonna get through the diet without, you know, having to deal with people asking me why am I eating the way I am. I mean, they already know what I'm doing. My boy Vinny wouldn't give a damn because he eats pretty, you know, healthy and works out. But my girl Crystal, <laughs> it would have been hard to do that, to diet like that around her. Um, because I know she would have wanted to have a drink and da 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 and she likes to eat, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so do I and the two of us collectively, it's very hard to abstain from eating. So, um, but the good thing is, is that I already had a plan in motion. I was already going to um, have things set in stone so that when they got here, I was able to get through them being here without being tempted to do anything I wasn't supposed to do food wise. So um, my intention was to go ahead and go through the weekend and Saturday was going to be the day that I had my cheetahs. I always do. And they were just going to have to deal with the fact that I wasn't able to drink on Friday night. And of course, Sunday they were leaving, so I wouldn't be worried about it. It was Friday that I just wanted to make sure, you know what I mean, that I wasn't sure of. So very happy that, um, to a certain extent, that they're not coming this week in particular because I kind of want to make sure I go into my next weigh-in having done the, you know, work I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah. Anyway. Um, other than that, that's it, really. About to make this French toast. We're going to let you know how it tastes. I'm making some for Juice. I don't know how he's going to like it either, but he loves French toast. So, we're going to see how it tastes and go from there. So, yeah. Let's get this day started. All right, that's what it looks like. There's my sugar-free syrup. We're gonna go ahead and taste this right now. Not bad at all. Surprisingly, Juice even had it. Say hi, Juice. Mm. What up, y'all? Yep. Stuff not bad. Right? It's not as good as uh, Chef Unique's though. <laughs> Mm. Bring you to the student. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's okay. Hey, we, can, we can bring him here now. Stay, we, stay, hey, stay we, in Texas. Stay in Texas. <laughs> hey, I can call him up. He'll be, he'll be here. Nah, we good. Overnight. We, we cool. We can Same. overnight Chef Q up here. Oh, uh, no, nah, nigga. To throw down in the kitchen. We cool. I got this. I'm cool. You sure? I'm mm, positive. You sure? I'm positive. Hey, I can get him here overnight if that's the case. I wish somebody would. Hey, I would. <laughs> Please. What's up, y'all? Okay, so we are coasting. Your girl is out and about in these scrizzies, about to get some of these damn errands done. And uh, Juice got a couple errands for me to run too, so getting a couple things done for the hubster and uh, gonna get him done hopefully before my sister comes in town. I don't know what time she's coming in. She never ended up telling me that, so I've been texting her like, dude, hit me when you get in town so that I can come by and see her. 
and I'm not supposed to really announce it like on Facebook or whatever because um, she's surprising a friend of hers that is getting married this weekend and one of her best friends and uh, she's surprising her at her wedding and so um, I can't really talk about it on Facebook or whatever but I've been like sitting here like dude when are you coming what time blah 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 I know she's probably on a flight or trying to get out of get out of California so I'm assuming she's coming tonight I would assume it's the evening um, but I'm like waiting for her to get to me because I'm excited to see her but in the meantime in between time I'm gonna get some of these errands done so I can knock some of these things out you're gonna laugh at some of the shit that I'm gonna get because a couple of these things that I'm gonna get done today are gonna be related directly to the trip so y'all probably won't believe me when I tell you what I'm gonna get but uh, uh, I have to do it. And you'll remember, if you recall, from our trip to Cali earlier this year, uh, I said I was gonna do this and get this particular, two particular items um, before I go on another trip again. And so I am for sure gonna do it. Juice is gonna think I'm cray cray. He thought I was kidding when I said I was gonna get them. I'll show them to you when I find them. If I find them, I may be able to find them at Sam's, but they'll probably be in bulk and I don't need that many. But you probably might already know what I'm talking about but anyway so going to Sam's gonna get a couple things rotisserie for the hubster because he likes that his uh, vitamins toilet paper because it's a better buy over there and it lasts a hell of a lot longer because my husband goes to toilet paper like there's nobody's business um, soap and the usual suspects and then I need to get a couple random things so I'll be stopping a couple places probably Target the Dallas Doe Sam's and we're just gonna coast may go by the mall May go by DSW because I still want to get um, there's I want to get a black pair of sandals and they've been really hard to find actually in my size so I want to get a pair of black sandals hopefully on sale for this trip I've been wanting a pair for the longest I've never been able to find it and when I do I'm like eh, I don't feel like getting it now and I should have when I had the chance so that's hopefully something I'll be able to get done today but I'm not pressed or anything just gonna get these other errands done because that's more important but yeah man I'm excited about my sister coming and Juice is at the J-O-B-B, -B, getting his work on. And uh, we got the stuff that we need to get done, done this morning. So, yeah, man, uh, we coasting, son. So, yeah, we'll see what the day brings. Let's go. All right, y'all. We're in Sam's, which feels kind of weird <laughs> without Juice, because I'm always with Juice when I'm in Sam's. But anyway, this helps control the budget a little bit, though, because usually he's putting all kinds of shit in the cart. So... We're gonna grab these little items, see what we can find that is reasonable. But the most important thing to get, that we always get here, is uh, toilet paper and paper towels. Ooh, this may not be too bad. Y'all know I hate when I have to get Bounty, but he goes through paper towels like nobody's business. And I have been trying to get him to not go through paper towels. But he uses paper towels for everything. And I mean everything. And I mean two and three towels at a time. Ooh. Wait a minute now. Do we have Wounty? Or Fountie? Shit. See how much these cost? Let me look on this. Look. Hell yeah. Alright, that saved me five dollars, damn near five dollars. Going about it that route. We gonna go ahead and get these these uh bounty fuck bounty bounty can eat a dick and uh yeah save me good five dollars but it lasts a while in our house yeah hold up and these motherfuckers are just called <laughs> members bark towels hey we don't need the expensive shit all right here we go let's see so much more expensive than that. Shit. Here we go. Toilet paper. Oh. Oh, we like the prices. Oh. <laughs> he hates these toilet. I mean, I kill him with the toilet paper. It's another thing. Juice is real particular about his toilet paper. So, we're gonna get him his toilet paper, although I got the cheaper of the two. So, got our Charmin. Oh, by the way. Hold up. You know what? This is why it's better to come here with your strapping big 6'4 husband. Anyway, um, my sister's coming very soon. My mom was actually, I just called my mom to say, hey, are you guys picking her up from the airport? Because I wasn't sure it was my sister, Manishka, that was picking her up or if it was um, mom. 
and she's picking her up so she just um, said she'll be here in like an hour so I'm ecstatic so I can get all my little errands done and then give them time to get back to mom and dad's house and then I'll go visit them at mom and dad's house to see my little my little sister so yay I'm so excited do I need those I might oh yeah 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 anyway all right let's get this shit going okay we gotta talk about something real quick can we talk about the fact that this line here at sam's is on some other levels take a look like and everybody has a shit ton of food okay <laughs> and they've got like one lane two three lanes open total but Two of the lane, one of the lanes are about to shut down, and the other two, like, are just as packed as this one. So, I'm gonna be here forever. Anyway, my sister is here. I just got off the phone with her. Yay! And I um, just got off the phone with her, and she's just waiting on my mama, and you know, she's always late. But my mom was actually seemingly on time when I spoke to her on the phone, so we'll see if she actually shows up on time. Because she was excited to go pick her up, too. So, and it turns out my sister here is here longer than I thought she'd be. So, she is actually gonna be here until, like, the 9th of September so I am ecstatic because you guys know part of the time I guess that she's gonna be here I will be um, out of town so I am ecstatic that I'll be here um, and back and that she'll still be here when I get back because I was like shoot I don't want her to be here for you know the week and then I leave right after that and then she's out while I'm gone you know what I mean so I already know the last time that she left I cried so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again y'all know I'm just like a wuss anyway they chillin', they taking their time over here. I mean, look at this. And it's getting longer and longer by the second. What's up? So, at the Mizal right quick. And I uh, wanted to stop by. I'm going to this area right here. Bam! And I'm going because of those prices, okay? I'm trying to see, hopefully those aren't prices based on having a, a card here, you know, a credit card here because I do not want a credit card here, nor do I have one here. So, um, came here because I wanted to see if I could find a couple of really cute cover-ups, some swimsuit cover-ups or whatever. Um, I'll show you guys my suits when I get to, um, uh, what you call it? although you guys saw one on my Instagram, but there's one that's on the way to me still. And um, actually, there's two on the way to me. I got them on super duper clearance. They were both under $50. And I figured if they come in, I'm going to rock them while I'm out of town. So um, I don't know if I feel like wearing a two-piece while I'm out of town. I don't know. Now that I know what I'm supposed to look like in a bikini based on the competition, you know what I mean? I kind of don't want to wear a two-piece <laughs> while I'm down there because I'm like, I would rather wear the two-piece when I'm more solid. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? Just because I've been working so hard at it. Now I'm kind of like, I want to rock it when I'm almost there or halfway there or whatever the case. So I'm still going to bring them just in case. But for now, I've got some really sexy one-piece suits. And if you guys don't know, I have never owned a one-piece in my life, which was a big deal when I got the red suit that you guys saw on Instagram. But I have two other suits coming, one of which Juice is not a big fan of just because he doesn't like the print that's on it. But when you see it, you'll see. Hopefully it fits. I kind of guessed at that too. So anyway. Yeah, lots of suits, my goodness. I didn't think there would be this many. Anyway, I'm gonna look for a cute cover-up. Ooh, this is cute. This is cute. It doesn't go with any of my suits, but it's cute. It's expensive too. <laughs> nope, but it's cute though. Look at it. Something like that would be awesome if I could find it in black um, with a different price tag on it. Oh, these are really, are really cute though. But yeah, I don't like cover-ups that are pants so that's a no um, but since they're one pieces I kind of want like a sarong type of situation where I could wrap it around me or something something like that I don't know I just have a vision in my head of what I want to do so we're gonna figure this out yeah okay so this is kind of what I'm looking for something like this would be dope too simple I could throw it on real quick sit by the pool for barbecuing chilling I don't have to have my ass out while we're chilling you know what I mean so this is nice. I don't know, you know, I'm kind of in that weird in-between size thing. And this is a medium and normally I get a large just because I like it to be baggy. So I'm going to try it on and see. I don't know, but it's cute and it's on sale. Okay, so why did your girl get herself a cover up? <laughs> it was on 
hecky sale y'all like I saw the price on it and then I was like ah, I don't know and I saw it in a different section so I um, saw it in a different section and then I ended up going to the clearance rack for all the cover-ups and stuff like that and I saw there were like three or four more of those there and I was like well they're in the clearance section this probably got moved out the place you know out of, out of the spot and uh, it turns out I was right so I had them price check it for me so I could make sure it was on clearance and it was in there like swimwear mm -hmm. so not only that but your girl would normally wear large in a cover-up like that for sure because of my hips and you know the way I'm shaped you know I'm hippie and it's a, it's a swimsuit cover-up that goes over your hips so anything that size or down would grab you know grab onto my hips and looks kind of frumpy so I normally get a large I got the medium the medium's perfect for me so yeah so happy so anyway next stop because I got to go see my sissy and I know my mom's probably driving her everywhere because my mom has been just as excited if not more than me that my sister's coming into town but um I'm gonna go check out a couple spots to see if I can find some decent shoes um, hopefully some sandals on sale I need a black pair like I said earlier so we're gonna check this out and see what we can find my eyes are on the prize I'm doing nothing more than literally what I said <laughs> Oh shit, these kiosk people. Boy, look, I don't even want to be bothered. So, we're gonna hopefully he ignores me because I'm talking to the camera and totally just ignores my black ass. Hold on, let's see. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him, but he's in a yellow shirt if you do. But, like, I just cut the corner to avoid his ass. And then he turned the corner to try to come back, you know, whatever. And I uh, saw so I was talking to y'all. This might be a good thing. Walking to the mall with the camera so you won't be bothered by all the kiosk people. Anyway. I know you gotta get your hustle on, so it's all good. But anyway, so, yeah. Next stop, we're gonna look and see if we can find some on-sale sandals. I still wanna go to DSW if I don't find it in here, but I have a gift certificate um, to Aldo, so that's the only reason why I'm going here. And uh, we're gonna go from there. So I think this person behind me, these this couple, we're trying to uh, photobomb me. Uh-huh. I almost called the asses out. But I was gonna wait and see if they were gonna do it again. So I could actually like be like, hey! You know? I'm gonna do that the next time. If I if I see them, if I catch them. Alright, <laughs> let's go. If I can get this girl to show you how she's rocking the hell out these jeans and this top and these heels she's got on on this day. If you guys have been to an Aldo, there's some outlets where these women would wear the cutest outfits in these places, and this girl is rocking the fuck out of her outfit. I'm gonna see if I can get her on camera. Let's see. But anyway, I found a pair of shoes. So we'll see. Ah, oh, man. Uh, can you, is it possible to check another store to see if you guys may have it? Boo. Boo. The girl disappeared. So, see that place over here? I'm about to show you right now. Bam. Nordies, if you can see it, yeah. Uh, not even going in there, because I already know everything in there is gonna be ridiculously expensive. So we are going to go ahead and uh, try to hit up maybe like, oh, I know where I could go, hold up, tripping. Let me go to um, these morphos right here. I could feel them staring from the behind my head. Anyway, I'm gonna go and check if the store that used to be called Baker's, if they replaced it with another store, because I know um, it's been replaced at our other mall, one of the other malls here, one's at the Galleria, so I'm gonna see if they replace it here. Maybe they might have a pair of sandals, but black sandals are the hardest to find because everyone's putting their fall shoes out. And although they have the, the, the shoe, they don't have it in my size, and tens are always the first to go. Boo. Anyway, all right. Yeah, we ain't even going into Nordy's. Fuck that shit. So, yeah. So I have to go buy DSW. I'm gonna go buy Marshalls and TJ Maxx and see if I can find anything. I'm just not having any luck, y'all. I just want like a shoe similar to what I've got on my feet almost, bam. Something like that in black. Very simple. Trying to get one with no metals on it because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to not restrict me, not that I have to wear gold if there's gold accents or silver if there's silver accents, but I would prefer it to be plain. So I can wear it with whatever, you know? So, 
and I already have all these pieces in my head that I'm trying to like, I guess, essentially style so that I can put the outfits together for the vacation. And uh, yeah, so black sandals would be nice. All right, here we go. Let's see what they have in this place. They might have already replaced it. Oh my, they did. What the easy? I'm over here, by the way, at the uh, West County Mall, if you guys are wondering. And they replaced it, I think. They did, y'all. This is what's in Baker's Place. <laughs> yeah, so there's no Baker's. So I guess whatever store took over at the Galleria, I guess it's the only store in St. Louis that does that. So, all right. I don't need any of this. Yeah. All right. Well, we tried our hand here. I'm happy I got the cover up. Still have to look at one more store here and see. Oh my God, y'all. Go to Aldo's <laughs> and check out the stuff they got there. Oh my God, their fall stuff that's coming in, the purses, shit like that. Look, banana sick. Like I was like, okay, I'm only focused on the one thing, the shoe, and that's it. I'm not ready to do all that fall shit yet. So, all right, let's, let's keep it moving. Okay, let me see if this is on. It is, I'm at Journeys. And y'all know, we like the little printed tees. They have the cutest printed tees. I've always, I always come here all the time. Oh, did you find them? Awesome, okay, we're gonna take a look at these shoes real quick. Thank you so much. I'm gonna shoot this little part over here, I'll ride back. Okay, <laughs> no one's used to me vlogging. Okay, so take a look at that shirt. You see it? Chewbacca. <laughs> and then they have this tank top right here, bam. I know it's kind of tacky. I wish it didn't have that yellow around it. But I'm tempted to take a picture of it and send it to Juice and see if he would want me to get him the shirt. You know what I mean? Just because he likes that stuff. All right. Let me see if I can. These shoes will work. Okay. So, take a look at the shoe. D disregard the fact that my feet are not cute. Uh, I didn't know there was a brown strap on it. But they're hella cheap. But. Not what I'm looking for, per se. I don't know. They look kind of weird on my feet. And they make my feet look gargantuan, so I don't know. Let me think about this one and see, because I just feel like they make my feet look like Sash Swatch. But, because <laughs> I already have big feet as it is. Okay, so I met Macy's in the clearance area, right? And came across these shoes. So we'll see how this works. Y'all tell me what y'all think. They're simple. Only thing I don't like about them is the stuff on the top of it. To be honest, I really don't like the little things on it, but it's actually exactly the type of shoe I'm looking for, if that makes sense. And I like the price too, they're like 20 bucks. So, I don't know. I probably need to get some holes poked in it too, because I feel like I need more support. But it would only be for me to wear for a couple of outfits. I don't know, it may not be bad. I don't know. We might have to take, try, try to take these, and if worse comes to worse, and I don't find anything else, at least I have this as an option. And then I saw another pair that's really cute and just like simple, but that's not what I'm looking for, these. So, but they don't come in my size. And I kinda don't like the fact that they're silver accents. I just wanted a plain black pair, but the kinds that I keep seeing are 50 and above, even despite the fact that it's about to hit fall. They're like not on clearance, not on sale. And I am not trying to spend an arm and a leg on sandals, especially because I'm only gonna wear them for a limited time. I might just get these and keep it moving. Oh, I hate the silver things. I don't know, they're cute, but like, a little too dainty. I don't know. We'll see. You got a new friend? Poo, say hi. Yeah. Hi. Say hi. Hi, hi you two. Okay, let me see your shoes. Look a look at my, my nephew. Who put your shoes on for you, honey? Mommy. Are they backwards? No, oh, oh, oh. Are they backwards, Mom? Yes. <laughs> He's rocking his shoes backwards. Who, who put them on? Wait, wait, wait. Who You're put them on? Who put your shoes on? Oh, who put your shoes my. on? Look at him. Look at him. He's backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who's here? Ding, 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 ding. Hello. You know, everybody's been waiting for you to come. Yes, but you can't put them anywhere yet. <laughs> yes. See you, Josh. Yeah, you little Yay. Nephew. Say hi, Mom. Oh, my God. Why? Wow. Me and my nephew are matching because. Yes. Like See? I know. Aren't they adorable? No one's as cool as us, really, so. 
Mama, mama, mama. Uh, ooh, mama, mama, mama. I was like, yeah, I, I know. Whoops, that. <laughs> you guys are so She's cute. So are you excited? Wow. That, are you excited that Tasha's is here, Pooh? Yeah, I went to his school. You did? I at school. Aww, that's cool. awesome. He was Tasha was picking me up because he was he was leaving. He was going home because <laughs> I was there and was. He was, he was excited to see me. Oh! Gade bundali. Gade bundali. Mom. Okay, so mom did a, Tash, mom did a runway walk on camera for me. Oh my and I put some, I put some runway music on behind it. I was excited. And they said you did a great, you did a, get a great runway walk. Did they love you. It? Yes, I'll have to show it to you. It's so cute. Mama. Hold on, Pooh. What about Wait. Can Hayden do a runway walk? Okay, do a pose, Pooh. Can you do a model walk? Miss, we'll get love and I'll get you a lot. That's an interesting That's cool. Model. That's a good, that's, that's good. That's manly. Oh, he looks like Caillou. He, he does. does. Caillou. He does. Oh my God, he does, does. yes. He really looks like Caillou. But you know, he's, he's always had an obsession with Caillou. Caillou looks like Caillou. Cool, huh? <laughs> Ed cut it for me. Oh, really? <laughs> did he really? Yeah. He did a good job. Look at him sagging. Yes, That's a no no. I'm gonna need you to wear a belt. It felt, this pants felt immediately when something. Yeah, I was about to say, hey! Yeah, that's true. Do you want to your pants? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's the cutest! You. <laughs> oh, that is the cutest thing ever in life! He goes, you got makeup on you! That's so cute! That's so cute! Sounds like me. It hurts. Because I always say it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> oh, it sounds just like me because yeah, I always say it hurts. Just did right now, and it probably some of it came off. I think. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah. 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 Of course I did. Well, then he probably <laughs> did. Oh, yeah. She's like, of course I did. No. You lie, Kaden. You lie. You no. lie. Me? Yeah, you lie. I don't think so. Because, yeah, yeah, you lie. You lie, mommy. Can I fix your penis? Does she lie? Does she lie? No. Oh, <laughs> you no. like, <laughs> you like, lie. You like, lie. No kiss for mommy? No. Why not? You lie. Weed. <laughs> they say it means weed. When I said loud, they say it means weed. Making noise. You said, you said, you said, you said loud box. I know loud box is weed. Say that. You said lad packs. I know lad packs is weed. I know you meant weed. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Say I know it, you say meant it. weed. Say it. Uh, no, no. Say it. <laughs> say it. I know you meant weed. <laughs> so we are here laughing and talking loud. She's such a, such a <laughs> Smoking loud. Smoking loud. They were talking loud. Smoking loud packs. Say, 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 everybody, say, oh, oh, everybody shoot, went night-night. What did she do? What did you say? Okay. I'll be happy to see you. And by happy, I need mean some. Oh, wait, 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 say, say. Bring, bring some, some gas weed. for me. Bring no, some, bring some weed. Say, 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 bring some weed. Bring, no, say it. Bring some gas for me, please. Say, bring and some weed. Say, so bring it, bring it, say it. Say it, 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 say No, 
Oh, de koes, de koes. Je doet brief op diepen. De koes, de koes, de koes, de koes, de koes, koes. De koes. Let me say something. Yeah, no, you didn't say koes. Say bring the koes. Bring the koes. Say koes, ma. Say just say it. Say it. Say bring the koes. Just say it. Let's say bring koes, koes. No, bring the koes. Bring the koes. Bring the koes. Bring the they are. Say bring the kush. Bring the dank. Say do you have a dime bag? <laughs> ay ay, they say you are hanging around with the wrong crowd. Say, Mom's, mom say, bring that dank thing. <laughs> do it, do it. Mom say, say, say bring the dank thing. Bring the dank, dank, dank. Say oh. bring that no, thing. No, 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 it's just a saying. It's Natasha saying. It's Seriously. Natasha saying. It's, 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 Seriously, it's a saying that she says all the time. Just say bring the thing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just do it. Go, 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 go. Bring that dang thing. Say bring the dang thing. Mom, please. No, no, no. Mom, no. no. <laughs> Mama, I mean, Natasha always says dang, dang, dang. I told you, I just got back from, I went to the gym just a little bit ago. I'm pretty smelly, so I, I need to take a shower before I get before we leave. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay. Okay, bring me the DVD, please. In the kush. In that kush. In the kush. Uh, I don't. I, I, I don't have them with me. What's the DVD? A, uh, I don't even know. Is that a code word for me? In the no. kush. Is that a code word for me? Oh, okay. So, uh, You're gonna sleep with Natasha tonight. I didn't know y'all were like that. <laughs> I know nothing. Okay, that will be fine. Bring the kush. Bring a dime bag. Bring a dime bag. White girl. <laughs> Is that what it's called? A dime bag? Really? Like that white girl? I thought it was. That's what people call it? Manishka, why do you know this lingo? I know. Man? What's up with your lingo, son? What is it? Di a dime like, bag. I mean Dime bags is usually cocaine, right? What? I thought a dime bag was weed. No, is that? But you said, you said you said you said a ten sack. Oh, tell me more, Manishka, since you, you're so. I know, well I know. Educated. Let me know. Wait, what? What? It's cocaine. Why is it on me when they're no, talking about this stuff? I don't. I, mm, why is I only know me? these things from TV, Mom. Trust. I'm just <laughs> keeping it real. I'm just. Tell <laughs> me about that meth. I didn't even know what weed was, honestly, until probably a couple years ago. Oh, me neither. No, no idea. Meth. Yeah. Meth. What is weed? You know. Meth what is this stuff? Yeah. What? Like, I, I mean, for real. Know. I mean, it's stuff that grows in the fields, right? I know it's like a like a like a plant. Right. Cannabis. Don't you make um? How do you know all the damn names That's of the cannabis. damn ish, dog? For real. I mean, she's like, is. you know what That's a twenty cannabis. sec is? It's weed. What did you call it before, white girl? No, a white, white girl is 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 Dime. cocaine. Wow. White girl is cocaine. That. Yeah. Yes! What is going on? Oh my god! You know what? So you never had Young Jeezy? I don't know who you, you know. You know, we keep that white girl, Christina Aguilera. You, come on, y'all don't know what Maybe they're talking is. about a no. girl. I mean, Caucasian. I know, a Caucasian girl. She's trying to act like you don't I'm know. I'm serious. No, I swear, I really don't. I've never heard of that. I've never heard. <laughs> No, I really, I, I promise I've never heard of that. White girl is cocaine. I've never heard of that. I would have thought they meant like they've got, uh, you know, that, that. Why do they? A, a Caucasian female attribute? that's banging. Is it an attribute? What's an attribute? Christina looks awesome lately, by the way. What's an attribute, mom? What are you talking about? Uh, to, uh, you know, to white girl. What, mom? What is? Cocaine Like they use the I word. Think they, I think they call because, it white girl. Because cocaine is white. But it's a white powder. Mm. Thanks for sharing, mom. <laughs> Dang, you are eating that piece of celery. It's bomb. Have you Do you really want to know, Mom? I no, tell me more, Mom. Tell me more about what, how you feel about the, the term white girl used as a term for cocaine. Oh, is it because they love it? Why? Oh, I see what you're saying. Why? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Why? She was like, it's, is it because of the white it. reference because of the color of the, the powder or is it because white girls love it? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, what you meant. that's what you meant? Yes, that's what she was saying. Yes, white girls love. That's why I was like, white girl, girl, love white white girls. Girls. I thought that's what I thought. I thought she meant people. I love think it has to girls. do with the fact that it's. She's white. referring to why it's called 
white girl. We don't mm -hmm. know. Oh, She's wow. just, you know. I think it's called white girl because it's white. Not only yeah, it's white. because it's white. That's what I think. That's what I meant. Dang, you it's guys like know rich person. Why do you guys know so much about so That's what it is. It's, it's the reference to it being rich or whatever. Why do you guys yeah. know so much about drugs? Yeah, yeah why are we even county? discussing like, this? I we don't totally don't, don't do that. Like, oh my god, she knows so much. Alright y'all, so you girl has one last pit stop before she heads home. Juice just got home, so I am uh, gonna meet up with him here in a second. But um, and he got home a little later, so he couldn't meet up with me to meet up with uh, my siblings and all that stuff. But anyway, he'll see them over the weekend because uh, my sister's here for a while. Just missed my brother. He just got done working out, so he was in a shower before he came over, and I can't stay that late because I need to eat. So I'm here getting the last couple items um, before I go home. And I know I told you I was going to show you all, if I could find it in the store, the items that you're going to laugh at that I wanted to get while I was in Target. So, if I can find it, if I can find it, I'm going to show it to y'all. But yeah, I uh, got a couple of little things, my fake butter, my cafe caramel, because we just ran out of cafe caramel and all that shit. Um, but there's one thing I said that I will get, okay? So I'm going to see if you guys guessed it before. I mean, obviously I won't know. But if you did guess it, let me know down below um, before I show it to y'all. I'm going to look for it real quick, and if I find it... I'll show it to y'all. Okay, have you guessed yet? All right, so whether you have or not, I'm exhausted obviously. I'm gonna show y'all, here we go. Hold up, show you guys the first item. Bam, okay. You guys know, if you guys know my trip to LA, I did not take this with me and I really, really needed it, okay? So I got two, three things, ready that? Which is airborne in case I didn't let it focus. The second thing, bam, echinacea, which is something that I take a lot, but I ran out and then I forgot to replenish my stash. And this is something that I'm gonna be taking progressively up until we leave. Yes, I'm anal and yeah, paranoid, it's just how I go. And, <laughs> and bam, this is the item that I told y'all. It was gonna be a little extreme, but that I said the next time I go on a trip that I was gonna do. And it's the antiviral masks, bam. And the only reason for that is because if you guys recall, when I was on the flight to LA, I believe it was to LA, I was stuck next to somebody with their kid who was sick as a dog. They were both sick as a dog. Coughing everywhere, never covering their fucking mouth. I would look at them crazy, like, are you crazy? Can you cover your mouth? And then she started covering her mouth because she realized how uncomfortable I was because Juice and I couldn't sit together. And um, somehow we got seated apart, which I was like not happy about since I don't like flying anyway. So, um, anyway, uh, needless to say, I came back with their cold everything. I mean, I was sick as a dog, and I'm not saying that it was because of them, but I didn't have anything to cover my face with, because usually when I'm in a plane, I cover my face when I'm sleeping, and they don't give sheets out anymore. You know, like the sheets that you would get, you know, just to blankets or whatever. They don't give those out anymore either because of whatever policy, you know, and also I'm sure some of it may be unsanitary or whatever. Either way... Um, I had nothing to shield myself, so I was just sitting there, germs and all. So I told myself this time I'm going to bring them just in case I get stuck again like that again or we're by people that are sick or whatever because I'm not going through that shit again. I mean, shoot. Look, y'all know I'm cray cray. So anyway, that's what I wanted to get from here, and I actually went to the hardware section, hardware section and didn't have it, so I went to the health section and they did. So I had to look a little closer for me to find it. but. That's it, so I got my echinacea, I got my airborne, I'm gonna take that and drink that, you know, before I leave for the trip, and uh, you know, probably on the flight, and then probably during the time that I'm there, because I just don't adjust well to different weather, because I always somehow come back sick, so I'm just trying to combat all of that in advance. So yeah, all right, time to go home, hang out with the hubby, and um, I'm exhausted, as I have been everywhere, and uh, plus mom and dad, or mom and my, uh, sisters had me cracking the fuck up. My dad's out of town. I don't know if I've told, that I told you guys this. He's out of town. He's on um, a little mini vacay with his brother out in uh, Florida. So he'll be gone for a few more weeks and then he comes back soon. So, all right, time to check out.